lot of people don't realise that fire also affects catchments and waterways. The resilience tour we did today was all about getting out and having discussions in the environment with the community, with the Royal Fire Service, talk about um, how they can be better prepared come the next fire and how there's little things that they can do to think about minimising their impact on the marine environment. My friend noticed it in the local media and so I was immediately interested. To get out and explore a bit more about in the region and to meet some more community people as well. We visited a local oyster shop where it was explained the whole cultivation methods that they undertake to produce half the best oysters. Oh, excellent. Gary Rodley and Joe Rodley have the best oysters on the coast. We love them. Well, I live on a, a property that's uh, adjacent to one of our oyster lakes and we're conscious what we do on farm and upstream has an impact on, on the lake, its ecosystem and that industry. We've been out to Brogo Dam, we were looking at water quality and how the fires affected that water quality. I really enjoyed going to Brogo Dam. Um, I thought it was uh, just fascinating to uh, see how that whole operation goes. We also went over to Marimbula. We went out on a boat into the ocean. Um, we were lucky to see a whale. on the boat in uh, Marimbula Harbour and seeing a whale. But I'm always uh, excited about marine biodiversity. The megafauna are great, but also lots of the little things. And we had a bit of a chat also as to how the fires affected those, that tourist operation. Um, Ash getting caught in the engine, various wildlife moving around. I hadn't really thought about uh, marine life and how they would be affected by fires. The complex and multi-layered nature of the fire impacts and how enduring they are have been highlighted today. I guess my biggest takeaway from the day was getting a group of people together to talk about what can be quite a difficult topic, but sort of looking through a bit of a different lens. Resilience is the ability to bounce back. The more people get together and talk about these things, um, it's crucial for bushfire recovery. Seeing the, the coastline, you know, going out in the boat was fantastic. Oh, look, just the coastline and the gorgeous light and scenery and reflecting on what a great part of the world we live in.